Um, the reason why I got into the sport, I guess there really wasn't a reason. Um, I just attended a match with my husband. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it looked very challenging because they were having to figure out elevation, having to figure out, you know, what they were going to dial their elevation on. I mean, it was more than just pointing and clicking, you know, pulling the trigger. So there was a lot of math that went behind it. Once, my first time of ever hitting a target at 800 yards and hearing that ping sound, there is something that's just addicting to that. And it was like, I just wanted more of it. So I didn't really get into it for a reason. It was just more of, more of just having fun. Um, and I, I looked at it as spending more time with my husband, but you know, I, I loved it. There was just something inside you that just makes you wanna you know, hear the impacts and hear those tings even more, just knowing you know, that you can do that. Okay, a girl and a gun. Um, it's actually a national, um, it's, it's a national organization. It, it was a, it came about by female shooters for female shooters. And it was to help get more females involved in the different shooting sports. Um, I was uh, introduced to it this past year. Her name's Juliana Crowder. And she invited me to come to their national training conference down in Texas. And that's when I started learning a lot more about it. And I, it's just a wonderful organization. There's chapters all over the United States. Um, they, you can look them up online, um, but they, uh, the, the organization is to help women um, become more involved, whether it's competitive, self-defense, or even just wanting to uh, conceal carry. So that's a little background about them. When I started shooting, um, the long range uh, portion of everything, you know, my husband was always there in the beginning. He's a former sniper. So he had out all of his little sniper books and everything. There were only a handful of women at the time that shot uh, long range. Uh, Regina Milkovich had reached out to me in 2013 and was like, hey, if you, you know, you need any questions answered, if you need anything, you know, just let me know. So, it, you know, she's always been there, um, someone to look up to. I think the industry as a whole, the whole firearm industry, I really respect and admire uh, Julie Gold because she is just classy. I love how she handles herself in interviews and just the business side sense of everything. She's just a very, I think she's an overall uh, well-rounded person, you know, someone to look up to just in the industry as a whole. That would obviously be what I run and it is, uh, it's my four and a half to 30. It's uh, an elite XRS and I've got the G2 reticle in it which is, I, at first, um, I was running a Trimmer 2 reticle. Um, some say it's pretty busy, but I was utilizing it in different stages. But with this G2 reticle, I've been able to comfortably um, do my holdovers. Uh, you know, in, in the sport that I shoot in, it's not how fast you run through the stages, it's, it's how quick you can hit the X amount of targets within that given time frame, which is usually 90 seconds. So holdovers because you're doing, you're hitting uh, different targets at different distances. And so being able to do holdovers minimizes that time from looking up, getting off your rifle, you know, and that way you're able to stay on your, your scope. That's me holding a gun, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, it'd definitely be the, uh, the elite uh, tactical XRS. My favorite Hoppies product would, it, it was definitely the range field kit. I always have the field kit with me in a match, and I couldn't tell you how many times whether someone needed a rod because they had case separation in their barrel, and you know we've it, it comes with a, a rod, it comes with the board cleaner, the lube, it's got patches in it. I utilize probably every bit of that at every match that I shoot in, and not for myself, but for other competitors out there. Um, and everyone knows that I carry hoppies with me, so they'll come up to me during a match and be like, Miss, do you have any, you know, do you have any lube on you? Do you have any gun medic on you? Gun medic is probably number two that I, and I always carry a small can of that too in my range bag, but definitely the field kit. New women shooters getting into the long range competitions. Um, my advice to them would be to really get to know 
your rifle, get to know the optics that you're using. Um, having the confidence in the gear that you run, that is, I mean, paramount in this sport. I mean, if you're not comfortable with what you're behind, you're, you're, you don't have confidence in it. But um, first and foremost, be confident in the firearms that you're running and with your optics. And second, just have fun. I mean, don't go out there, don't overthink it. Just, just have fun because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. My analogy of what Hoppy's number nine smells like, freedom, America. <laughs>You know, I choose Bushnell over other optics. Uh, one, because they've, they've been around since 1948. I think that speaks volumes for an, for an optic company. Um, you know, they didn't just start 15, 20 years ago or five years ago. You know, it, it's a trusted name. The glass is great, it's crisp. I mean, there's also a lifetime, uh, there's a lifetime guarantee on them as well, which, you know, they stand behind their products and, and I do too. Well, not to give it all out, <laughs> I rethink how I approach each stage. Um, I do a lot of dry fire. I mean, training is important um, when doing this because we're shooting positional in different positions, off gates, cars, some prone. But um, I, I think I add a lot to support the people you surround yourself with um, in the matches when you've got people you know, cheering you on. You've got, um, it, it's, it's a way of thinking. I guess would be a great way to uh, summarize it. It's, it's how you think about each stage, thinking positive and um, just surrounding yourself with good people and training, of course. Gosh, what family means to me is, I mean, that's your foundation. That's where, I mean, that, that's your rock. You know, I've got a great family support. I mean, they stand behind me on everything I do. But um, family to me is just, I mean, I mean, it's everything. That's, that's where your foundation starts and it should. Family and God. I do do some hunting, yes. Um, Alabama, that's the places I've been hunting and um, I've been very successful in being able to take down a few deers. Um, but Alabama is real, I mean, that's the only place I've been hunting, so. I mean, I wish I could go to Texas or Africa or something like that, but um, Alabama, for sure. I mean, that's my hometown too, so it's, that's where I'm from. And I mean, we grow some biggins there too now.